What's up folks, it's Brett, and today I have another goofy product to show off to you guys. I am so excited to introduce to you the Spy Blaster, or should I say, the AGM Mass Tech Spy Blaster. Or actually, that's still not really what it's called. On Amazon, it's called the AGM Mass Tech Transforming Soda Can Toy Gun. Okay, when I was younger, I really enjoyed the spy net or spy gear style blasters that especially fired foam darts or foam style darts. They were never the highest quality products, but as a kid, I really enjoyed them. And this feels like just that, but the next generation from a company I have never heard of. $19.99 for this soda dart blaster launcher thing. Let's see if we can get our money's worth out of it. There's also no range claims on the box, not surprising, so I don't know what we're expecting out of this. We have a little package here, which is our darts, and we have, there it is, Spirit. We also get, ooh, bad guys are included. So we have three targets to shoot at, which is a nice inclusion, even if they are uh, pretty cheap. The included darts I am not particularly thrilled about, but they might become a little bit more useful here momentarily. You can see that we get 30 of them, three packs, 10, but they should be compatible with everything you see on screen. And now the Soda Blaster itself. Now the one that I opted for was this green one, the Spirit one. The orange one says, Spy Fun. Okay, the red one says, Spy Soda. Very on the nose. I felt that Spirit was a little bit closer to what it's trying to parody. Sprite. Doesn't feel like the highest quality plastic, feels a little bit soft, like if I were to scrape this, that would be uh, very easy to do and very unfortunate. The top is pretty basic, similar though. If you scratch that, you'll probably uh, see right through to the green. I'm assuming it's all green underneath that. At first glance, it looks okay, and the bottom, nothing special. I don't know if this would actually fool people into thinking that you have a can of soda versus a foam dart blaster, but I mean, overall, it feels solid. But okay, what's underneath the hood? We've got room for three darts, but unfortunately this is a one dart at a time. You can see that it is this slot right here that is open to the plunger, so it only fires the dart that is in this position. Now it is a manual rotation, that means after you fire one dart, you will have to manually rotate it and click that into place. It is a pretty audible click. So that's nice, and also, when it is in that position, it does have a little bit of room to wiggle around before leaving that chamber. Now, the included darts are a little bit short. The benefit to this blaster means that you can push them in all the way nice and snug, and now you can actually close the top, and they are ready to go when you want to fire it. However, if you are using other darts, fully inserted, you can see that it is jutting out the top, the can will not close. That is a bit of a bummer, you can kind of squish it, oh, it's a little bit tight, I don't know if I would want to really squish that all the way, so that means you would have to either cut darts like this, or you would have to maybe cut down some darts you don't care about. And yes, because it is a front loader when the top is open, you could just load an elite dart, and that is all well and dandy. But okay, we want to fire this darn thing, so let's do it. From the bottom, pull back, push in. You see that button right there? Fire, whoa, you couldn't even see that. Do it again. Rotate, fire into my hand. I am not saying it is the highest FPS I have ever felt. We will chronograph it in a bit, but it is not as bad as I was thinking, so a pleasant surprise. I will also say you can make this tactical. They made it tactical. There's a little sight that you can also flip up right here. And then when you pull out the back, it will stay in this fully extended position until you push it all the way back in. In this position, you cannot actually push the trigger to fire. Only when you push it back in can you do that. But if I pull it out, you see this little tab at the bottom. Now I can pull that out and I've given myself a handle. And wow, this is really coming together, isn't it? And one last feature dart storage. With the included darts, you can fit three plus one. And close that up. And because it is a little bit longer, that means that you can very easily store three, say, worker darts like that. It'll close just fine. And just to show off what three worker darts look like fully inserted, yep, unfortunately, 
It's just not going to close. But this is it, folks. This is peak performance in the year 2024. Chronograph time in feet per second. Let's test out our Spirit Secret Soda Shooter Blaster. Start with the included darts, pushed all the way down into their respective barrels. 41. 42. And 41. Three more in the top. Almost 43. Ooh, 45.5. And about 43. Testing some worker HE darts. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I believe that. What the? All right, I believe that one a little bit more. In case it wasn't obvious, sometimes these chronograph readings are not perfect, so take them with a grain of salt. Ah! Oh, I hit the side. Okay, so about the same as the included ones, uh, unless you're getting pro performance. Here, wildcard round, we've got some worker lightweights, we've got Adventure Force Pro, and a Nerf Pro. That was a little better. Whoa, Nerf Pro did 211. Okay. Adventure Force Pro 37. And because it is just a top loader when the can is open, might as well try Elites. <laughs> yeah, okay. 1840. Oh, all right. 41. Seems like, as long as it has a good seal, it's not bad. And on that note, let's get really goofy and really weird. Uh, streamlines, because no one asked. Okay, fine, for the one person who will ask for it. 50 caliber foam ball. Already falling out the barrel when you point it sideways. Bad guys detected. Whoa, he did. Oh. My mistake, I forgot to aim down sights. I have no immediate plans of opening this thing up and trying to modify it, but there are some screw ports, so I imagine you could get in there and try to make it even better. I do think that for what it is and what it's trying to do, it does it pretty successfully. And hey, they fully embraced half darts. Good for them. Do I think it's worth $20? I don't really know. It feels a little bit too cheap in my opinion, but so far it works and <laughs> it's quite amusing. I mean, if you think that the uh, targets are worth that investment as well, it gives you a good number of darts and these aren't like um, plasticky vinyl heads. These are the suction cup heads. So that means that they should be pretty safe. Do I see myself using this in a game? Yeah, I mean, is way more powerful than some of the other things I've used. It's just a single shot blaster with a manual three dart rotating turret. I enjoy that they did something a little bit different than just, here's another front loader that looks like a Busby Tech 3. Do more of this stuff. Who am I talking to? I don't know, companies in general. Nerf, make something like this. This is funny. This ain't dangerous. Just don't drink out of that. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Subscribe for more soda blasters, and I will see you next time. Glug, glug, glug.